Alright everybody, what's happening? This is Ethan again, back at ya. From Ethan's Bench, and we got a, a nice little demo for you here. I'm gonna be teaching you how I carve paint. It's gonna be real exciting, I think it's really cool, and I don't know too many people that do it, so you're in for a treat. Here we go. So here's a box made out of plywood that I found outside my work by the dumpster several years ago, and I just started carving stuff in it when I was at school. So, you know, words came pretty easy, you know, I started small, but then worked up. Symbols are very easy, you don't want anything too terribly detailed. I started with this side, and as I got better, moved on to a pyramid, which is a little bit uh, more intense, more intricate, but doable. And then, skull and crossbones, any lyrics you want. Uh, this one was really hard because, like, the bones, it still doesn't look too good, but there's a lot going on. And it uh, wasn't that bad. But the best I think I've done is this Russian church right on the back, which I was just going through a weird phase where I kept on drawing Russian churches, and uh, I think it came out very good. And now I just have a nice little box that, uh, you know, you put stuff in. It's pretty nice. Didn't cost me anything. And it was uh, it had brown paint on it when I started, and it... uh. Just started me down this journey of just, you know, carving stuff into paint. Okay. Uh, this guitar, I've shown you before, it's my $5 first stack guitar. But as you can tell, I stripped off all the beer labels. Just because, just wanted to change it up. Took out the middle pickup, or the bridge pickup, and I nailed a little skeleton guy in there. Just for, just for fun. Tore out the controls, you know, so now it's only one volume, one output. And then I carved some occult symbols, you know, and, uh, you know, Lucifer cross, some eye guy, I forget what that is, like the Sun Ra circle, Satan symbol, and Son of Iris. And what I'm going to show you is how to do it yourself. Now, as you can tell, I drew this little goat guy on uh, the back. It's going to be... A little, a little difficult, a little challenging, but uh, you know, I think I'm ready. And you might want to start out with some smaller projects and just uh, move on from there. But first step is just draw whatever you want freehand, or stencil or whatever you want, you know, in pencil. You could do pen, but pencil is better. And then all you're gonna need is a piece of wood that's been painted. Um, underneath this is a coat of black paint, which you can see is kind of coming through a little which is going to help it stand out, but you could do it with just, you know, regular uh, natural wood underneath, or you could paint, like, several different coats that might look cool, you know, almost like a jack-o'-lantern. And what you're going to need is just a couple of uh, pencils or a pen, a screwdriver, and some kind of knife or a uh, razor. Work just as well. And uh, the first step, what you're going to want to do, is just get your knife, and I usually like to start at like one side and then work your way to the other side with all the lines. What you want to do is just take the knife and just gouge, sure you can see there, gouge along the lines like that. Okay. And it should look something like that. And you just do that for everything over all the lines. And I'll do that real fast and then be right back at you. All right, everybody. I just finished, you know, carving it all out with the knife. As you can see, it's kind of rough, but you can still see the lines. But uh, we need to make them deeper so they're more visible, you know, and you can tr control, like, the uh, pressure and everything and how deep. I don't know, make a deeper color, you know, and you can get some line contrast. So to do that, we're going to take a screwdriver here and just go back over the lines and just sort of run back over and clean it up and as you can see that makes the line steeper and darker and just makes a better picture all right so i'm gonna do that come back and show you guys okay and this is the final result i might go back you know in a couple areas get a little darker but uh this is what you can expect you know Parts of it came out, you know, really good, like in this part. Parts didn't come out quite so good as, like, the hands, but hands are always kind of tricky, you know. And as a whole, I'm uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it, because, like, with, with the paint, you know, 
it dries at different thicknesses. You don't know what it looks like under it, the black, you know, how much that was sanded. So there's a lot of, you know, variables. But I think that's okay. It leads to a very, you know, wabi-sabi kind of, you know, art. That's, uh, it's beautiful, and we're missing that in today's society. So you need some, uh, you know, some imperfections to make it look good. All right, that's about all I got. Thanks for watching, you know, and try it out yourself. Okay, have a good one. This has been Ethan.